we've got the final product that we melt. And sadly, we've not really been able to see that part of the plant, but that's because it's your secret sauce, basically, and you don't want anyone else to know it, right? Talking gold with Life of Gold, and today I have Percy in front of me. And now, Percy, we've prepared a total walkthrough of the processing facility for the viewers at home today. That's correct, yes. All right, can you dive into it? So from the mining team, we end with the product at the ROM pad, which is, I think... ROM stands for? A run of mill. It is all in piles uh, where the geologist will point out which will be fed when so we can get a constant feed with grade hardness um, through the mill. So the crusher, we've got a C160 Mezzo as a primary crusher, jaw crusher. We normally break material down to about 90 degrees, um, where it's then tipped onto a, a stockpile, which we refer to as the church. The church is that beautiful building Yes, that's, uh, it looks like a huge church with a roof, yeah, correct. So from there on the, the plant um, operators, they will take material as they need and from where they do need it. We've got four shoots there where the operator can take from the sides if he needs to, to get coarser material to help with the milling process or he can take more to the inside and work around with it. When you enter to the mill area, um, it's all enclosed. We go to the ag mill and it breaks down. The mill the areas we're currently at, right? This enormous That's building. That's correct, this big one behind you. So it goes about 250 tons per hour. Uh, it mulls down. There's no balls in it, it's an ag mull. So from the ag mull, it goes to the pebble mull. And then it will go um, to, to the screen. Where bigger than six mill material sizes will be screened off and dumped directly onto the conveyor feed at the ag mull again, which will then in, in in place help with the grinding media um, together with the bigger ones that's coming in. From the um, screen, smaller than six mil, we will have into the flash flotation where the gold concentrate will float over and waste material will go down. Real quickly, the flash flotation is that blue column that we saw over there, right? That's correct, yes. Um, so from the flash flotation, um, the high grade concentrate will go to the ball mill. The rotating one? Yes. yes. Uh, from there it will go to these uh, high grade CIL tanks. Then the higher grade, uh, the lower grades material will go to the Nelson and the spirals where the higher grade will be um, screened out with gravity. The Nelson is that alien looking machine uh, to, our, to your right? Cyclone, that's the cyclone, yes. So the Nelson is the green one. So we have the Cyclone here and then the Nelson next to it. That's correct, yes. So we've got the, the Nelson, which is the biggest in the world, I believe. In the world? Yes. Wow. And this is the biggest gold mill in Europe, right? I believe so, yes. Okay, quick segmentation, all right. And then from there on out, how does it go? What, what is the trajectory? We've got the high-grade CIL tanks at the back, with the smaller ones, and the low-grade CIL tanks, the bigger ones. Those were the ones outside that's correct. Of the building. Okay, yeah. So that is where we introduce the gold concentrate with carbon and um, afterwards in the, uh, the part of the building behind us, the, the Como area as we refer to it, that is where we will extract the, the gold concentrate from the carbon, reuse the carbon, electrowind the gold from the concentrate and then we've got the final product that we melt. And sadly, we've not really been able to see that part of the plant, but that's because it's your secret sauce, basically, and you don't <laughs> want anyone else to know it, right? Yes, that's correct. All right. Thank you for your comprehensive overview. That was amazing.